Uh, Megan, another role that you played uh, was a Grey from Black Clover, the poster child for Not to Judge a Book by its Cover, yeah. or should I say Grimoire? Oh, <laughs> you're so funny. Nice. Nice. You have great uh, questions. Though. I love okay. these. <laughs> I go by the name of Parker Zense. I am a founder and host of the Anime Freshman Podcast. I started the brand with some friends from London, England in 2019, partly as an excuse to talk about anime, but also partly because um, we believe that anime is one of the best storytelling mediums in the world. We use our platform to bring our fresh take on everything that is anime. I am honored to be able to speak with uh, Megan Shipman, Risa May, and uh, Brina Pizantia today. How are you guys all doing? Awesome. Fantastic. Hey. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. Great, that's great to hear. Um, first off, I want to thank you all not only for taking the time out to speak with me, but also giving me the opportunity to nerd out today. So, arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> so, as an icebreaker, we've asked some of our followers in our Discord community to give us a couple of questions just to give to you guys. So, the first question um, I'm going to ask all of you uh, What advice would you give to anyone looking to start a career in voice acting? Ooh, I, uh, oh, go ahead. You, you, you go first, Risa, you go. Okay, uh, I would say to um, get, get, a, get, a, get a couple of acting classes if you haven't yet. Um, and if you have, keep at it. Uh, start looking into the voiceover niche if you've already had like stage or on-camera acting experience. Um, and then just stick with it. Like if you love it, stick with it. Like it's taken five ever for me to get here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my I always tell people uh, acting first uh, and then focus on if you're doing voiceover in particular, focus on like your equipment second. Uh, you want to have a good skill set above all else um, and then really focus on uh, your equipment, because if you have you can have really great equipment, but if you can't act. Uh, I mean, acting is like in the name of the job, but sometimes people forget that even though it's anime that you still have to act. <laughs> you still have to be good at acting and telling a story, um, making it believable. So yeah, that's that's what I always say, you know, acting first, build your skills, and then focus on, you know, making a really nice setup for yourself. So yeah. Yeah, I would agree with all of that. The acting is so important. And I would say, especially in anime, because it's not about being like in a goofy world. Like, I mean, most anime is very grounded um, and very realistic. So any any type of acting class can help. Like it doesn't have to be um, just voice acting, because I know, you know, if you live in a smaller town, it's really hard to find something like that. But even just doing community theater, if you can do independent films, like any kind of acting that you can get your hands on, I would do it. Okay, perfect. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Um, the second question from our Discord community. Um, I'm fully aware that you guys are all um, English voice actors, but from your standpoint, um, from a viewer experience, subbed anime versus dubbed anime, what will be your preference? I love, I love this fight. I think I even made a T-shirt making fun of it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I made a T-shirt with a like a fighting, like it looked like a fighting screen from a an arcade machine, and I put sub versus dub. It was really funny. Um, I like all of it. I tell people that I watch both and a lot of people will come up to me and they'll go, oh, that's cool. I watch that show, but I'm sorry. I don't watch the dub. And I'm like, I don't care. I like this. Like we both know the story and we both know which characters we like. So in my opinion, I, I really don't get offended if people are like, oh, but I haven't watched the dub. I'm like, I don't care. Let's talk about the show. Cause I like it too. I had to, I had to live it. So like, let's talk about it. So yeah, I, I'm kind of like, I, I like both. If I'm impatient, I will watch the, the sub because sometimes I just get impatient. I'm like, I need to know what happens right now. Uh, <laughs> and then maybe I'll go back and watch the dub. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's me. I'm in. Yeah, I, mean, I, I definitely, camps. I I prefer a dub, but only if it's a really good dub. I'd rather, um like if it's a mediocre sub versus a mediocre dub, I'd rather mediocre sub probably. Um, but if it's like a really good sub and a really good dub, I'd rather the dub because I don't want to read it. I want to see the, ant like, I don't want to have to like look at the bottom of the screen to get and like go, like look back and forth. Like I want to like just be immersed in the animation, but like I absolutely watch both. <laughs> 
like I don't like I don't I don't think it matters I think it matters that we all get access to the material like it doesn't matter how you watch it like as long as you're watching it through legal means of course, yeah, of course. Absolutely. Please, please it does matter mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely it really does yeah. <laughs> it does matter mm -hmm. um yeah and I uh same thing I also watch both the subs and also the dubs um I grew up more watching subs uh or more so hearing because i also speak some japanese too so i'll watch and then i can understand look bits and pieces okay. of it um, <laughs> 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 um but yeah so i i do both and i can appreciate both um and i also definitely understand that you know for some out there it's also uh, an accessibility thing, you know, and sometimes it's a lot easier for them to hear and watch than it is for people to, you know, read something on a screen. It could be, um, you know, like there, there are so many reasons. Uh, so I definitely appreciate that we've got both. <laughs> okay. Okay. I like the answers across the board. Amazing. So um, I'm going to move on to uh, the movie specific questions and um, while we're all here, um, sing a bit of harmony for me. Um, so Megan, I'm going to ask you the first question and we're sure. going to go around. Um, so you portray an experimental AI who is tasked with posing as a school student. What led you to this role and what connects you to Xion? Uh, well, I got the audition in my inbox and uh, Xion immediately looked like this, like just imagine a like a, a Disney princess kind of vibe where she's just kind of very happy like in her own world um I I kind of compared her to the movie like Enchanted how like she just pops up in New York and she's like hello and they're all like no 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 no, no don't do that um but she doesn't get it um it's kind of the same thing it's like you know she just pops up and she's like I want to help and they're like that's not helping and she's like I don't understand I'm helping uh and so yeah she's she's so fun in the fact that she's kind of oblivious to like social cues that kind of are people are like please don't do that and she's like why I'm just helping I'm being nice I'm not doing anything wrong and then they're like well no but you're being weird and she's like I don't know what that means so I'm gonna sing another song uh, and it's really fun. So yeah, she's she's just really fun to kind of play off of the very realistic characters that are like, please don't, please don't do that. And she's like, I will, I will do that. I think you secretly want to hear this right now. Uh, so it's really, it's really fun. Okay, okay, no, I like that. Um, Arisa, the next one will be for you if you're if you're ready. Yeah. Um, for what we see, uh, Satomi, who play uh, who you play, has a mantra she recites with her mother daily. Um, I'm going to paraphrase it. It's something like, um, "Do your best, forget the rest, give it all you got." Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes do you yes, have any is. personal mantras or affirmations that you use to motivate <laughs> yourself? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, do I have any? Um, I guess for me, it's do the work, keep your head down, and uh, just for me, so long as I love what I'm doing and that I feel like I'm working hard enough for myself, like that's that's something that really matters to me is that I what I have for myself, I built for myself. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, Brina, first question will be um, for you when you're ready. Um, mm -hmm. As the um, ADR music director for Sing A Bit Of Harmony For Me, what were your highlights throughout the experience? Um, <laughs> I, I think getting to know Megan was honestly my favorite because we, we didn't we, know each other that well. No, we had way too much fun. It, yeah. <laughs> I just remember, all I remember is we just laughed, like we would spend like four hours each day and it would just yeah. be like and then I laughed for four hours and somehow we made a song and I don't yeah, know how somehow that happened but it truly was like because you know we had kind of worked adjacent to one another in mm -hmm. like music directing or whatever but like I hadn't ever gotten to like direct her uh mm -hmm. and like really like you know intimately work together and so it was just like <laughs> a fun like oh my gosh I mean she kind of is Shion in a way <laughs> <laughs> In, in, the the good, in, in the good ways though yes <laughs> only in the good ways yeah okay but it was honestly so much fun like I like I felt like I got an ab workout every time we had a session because <laughs> I laughed so much oh yeah 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 it was really fun <laughs> Okay. Well, um, seeing us on the subject of music, uh, Megan, uh, my favorite song was when Shion was helping Funda do his training. It was catchy and upbeat. And before uh, I knew yeah. it, I was shitty, like dancing in my seat. Uh, what were what would be your favorite favorite song from the movie to perform? Oh, gosh, that one was really fun because it 
it was one of the first ones we did too that was just like it just happened to be like kind of the first one we tackled because of how like upbeat and kind of maybe the rhythms and it's kind of jazzy so it was difficult in the sense that it wasn't the longest song but it was probably like the most technically like here's all these notes don't mess them up because uh, jazz jazzy things can be kind of tricky um but that's a, that's a really good one i i think my favorite the one that i always get stuck in my head that i find myself humming is the um uh the umbrella song uh just because it's so pretty and i just remember like even when i was like um like I knew it was really gorgeous, but then like recording it and working on it um, and kind of actually, cause when I recorded the dialogue, I didn't, I recorded all the dialogue separate. So I hadn't seen kind of all of those moments in the movie. So when we got to do it, uh, record the music, um, I was like, oh, this song is so gorgeous. And then I think watching the animation that really goes along with it, it really, um, it, it made it stick even more in my mind. So that's always, I think that's the one I keep thinking, oh, I can't wait to watch the Umbrella song. I can't <laughs> like, that's uh -huh. the one song that I'm like, oh, I wanna, I wanna watch it, I wanna watch it so bad. Um, that one's yeah, my favorite I, too. Yeah, it's really, it's really, mm. it's really good. Okay. Uh, Risa, uh, you seem to be getting all the uh, movie quote questions. It wasn't intentional, uh, but <laughs> one of the lines was everyone's definition of happiness is different. What would your definition yeah. be? Ooh, my definition of happiness. Um, pretty much what I'm doing right now. Just, you know, <laughs> living life, doing what I love, uh, being a part of, uh, you know, voice acting in something with such incredible music. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I mean, this, this to me right now is happiness. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I love that answer. <laughs> um, so uh, Brina, I, enjoyed a, I enjoy a good musical movie every now and again. Uh, things like High School Musical and The Greatest Showman spring to mind. Why are musical anime movies not as commonplace and do you think there should be more? Um, well, they're really expensive, so I imagine that's why. But you know, it's funny because I wouldn't classify this as a musical because it's more like it's I, I like the enchanted uh like that you brought it up it's similar yeah. to that because it, it, it truly is like she Shion is the only one singing and then everyone around her is very grounded and they do not live in a musical world and mm -hmm. they're just kind of like what is happening <laughs> like yeah. which kind of is one of my favorite parts of the movie is seeing everyone's reaction anytime Shion sings there's just like you you have to stop like why is this happening <laughs> <laughs> and then I like how, I like how get into it, but yeah but yeah I um I don't I mean I would imagine it's the cost that makes it mm. hard but yeah um I would love for I, I I mean it it's one of my favorite things to do in the anime world is to do music directing so I I appreciate them very much <laughs> okay I like how Tomo got um, pulled into the musical world towards the end even though he might not have been able to hold a note that well but I, I enjoyed that part um so uh, Megan, uh, Sing A Bit of Harmony For Me uh, took home the audience award at the Scotland Loves Anime Music Festival. Um, how do you feel the audience will react when it comes to cinemas? I, I really hope that people, um, I hope they just have a good time with it because I really think it's, it's there because, I mean, it, it's a great story. Um, not even getting into just like how beautiful the animation is. There's some really, really beautiful moments towards the end. Um, I won't spoil it, but there's some really, really beautiful scenes. And I, I can't wait to watch it like on a movie screen because I was like, oh, that's going to look amazing. Um, but I think just the, I hope that people when they watch it, they just can relate to it. Um, like I'm going to, I'm going to take my parents to watch it and they don't really watch anime. Um, <laughs> but I, I know that they'll still enjoy it because it'll be a story that even though it's a medium that maybe they don't watch all the time, I feel like it's still a story that um, a lot of people can relate to um, and can go, yeah, I see. I totally went through that thing that Satomi went through, or I went through that thing that Toma went through. Um, and you know, it's, it's, I think it's really touching um, just to, just to watch kind of and relate to something on a screen and be like, wow, I, I, I totally, I totally know what that feeling is like. So yeah, I hope people get to watch it and just feel like, I hope it just gives them warm fuzzies because that's kind of what it gave me when we were working on it. And I was like, we did the last little bit and I was like, oh, like that was so cute. And I just want to watch it again. It makes me feel so good. So yeah. Okay. Uh, Risa, next one goes to you. Um, 
Satomi's childhood movie was a running theme throughout the movie. Do you have any memorable childhood favorites you'd like to share? Oh my God, a lot of Disney. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think, oh my goodness. Uh, wow, so many. Um, one of my favorites would probably be The Little Mermaid. Uh, growing up, like I had always, I've, I've kind of always had a bit of a, like a rebel spirit growing up and I kind of identified with Ariel. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, uh, and, and also the fact that she sings, um, it's a musical and I, you know, I'm, I'm a very musically inclined person. So that definitely speaks to me or sings to me. <laughs> Ooh, punny I like that <laughs> uh, Brina on paper the premise of AI robots integrating with humans is not a fresh concept I got shades of Big Hero 6 when I watched the movie uh, what were the challenges faced to make the execution special oh with the music or what do you mean uh, just basically the concept of um, a AI basically integrating in with humans how, how is it that you feel or what challenges do you feel was faced to make that more unique than all the other ones, other ones that we've seen? Well, I think the unique thing of this one is that she won't stop singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's not like a normal thing. And that's why everybody mm. kind of like freaks out. But what I, what's ironic is that like, even though people bursting out into song is not a universal thing, music is universal. And, you know, all the characters around her, even though at first they're kind of like, what are you doing? She's still able to bring out things in themselves and help them understand each other in ways that they wouldn't have been able to otherwise. So it's kind of fascinating that that, that it's both like the weirdest thing about her, but also the most accessible thing about her all at the same time. Okay. Um, so I've got a few questions to, I guess, spark a bit of um, interest for of your previous roles. So uh, Megan, the first one goes to you. Are you ready for my next question? Sure, I'm ready. Cool. That was my question. So, <laughs> <thank you>. <laughs> so um, <laughs> Attack on Titan. <laughs> Attack on yeah. Titan is currently in its final season. It's currently one of my favorite animes, um, probably my favorite of all time. Mm. Uh, some people may not be aware, but you voiced uh, Sasha Browse. Uh, mm. What do you think went through Eren's head when he found out about her fate? Oh God, I don't know. I really can't because I haven't, I haven't spoiled myself. I haven't read the manga yet. So like, I don't really quite know. I kind of seen like snippets and pages that people were posting when it kind of wrapped up, but I don't know how they get there. I don't know why they're happening. I'm like, I have no idea what's happening. Um, but it's, so I'm not really sure what Aaron's headspace is at the moment, uh, just because I haven't really spoiled myself. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I would, like to think that even though he's kind of got this tougher exterior that he's putting on that he must still be like the same person you know deep down and I feel like he must not I mean he must be like really sad I feel like that's a lot of his motivations is like when people he like he like loves dies or like he loses people it only motivates him to do the thing that he thinks is right more so I think it does affect him in some way but I think it's just harder to see right now in this last season um so and it's and it's really interesting because even me watching it, I was like, "What are you doing? What is happening? Stop it! <laughs> Stop making a man bun! What are you doing?" <laughs> like, <laughs> so yeah, it's 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 really fun. So and and I'm really lucky that I've just gotten to like step into the shoes um, uh, of Ashley. That you know she was Sasha for so long, and just due to like scheduling stuff, it's kind of like really hard for her to kind of just make time to do that. And I'm glad that I can just step in and hopefully make, you know, the transition seamless. And like that way we can still like put it out and have people enjoy it and get to, again, that, that accessibility thing where it's, it's just really, it's about giving people something so that, you know, as many people as possible can get to experience the story. So it's really, it's really fun. Okay, cool. I like that one. Thank you. Uh, Risa, do you play video games? Oh, I don't know. Do I? <laughs> yes, <laughs> do you I do. <laughs> do you play Genshin Impact? I do. I do. I oh. play some Genshin Impact. Yeah, oh. I know a little a... bit about it. Oh, have you heard of a character called Kokomi? Ooh, rings a bell. <laughs> sounds. Oh. She sounds a bit fishy. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> uh, you, do you know what? I tried to pull for a banner, but I, I was unsuccessful. Um, but oh, my real question no, is: <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel, or what's your thoughts on a anime adaptation of the game? Do you think that will go down well? Oh man, I would love to see an anime ad adaptation of the game. There are so many characters, so many stories. It would be a huge anime. 
um, spanning for several seasons, I would think. But yeah, I mean, I would love to see it. I know so many other people would love to see it. There have been some fan content out there that is absolutely freaking amazing. Um, and I've seen some, you know, indie animators doing their thing. And then, you know, it kind of gives us a little snapshot into what it could have been if it was an anime. And I was, you know, I sit there and I look at all these. I'm just like, wow, we've got some incredibly talented people out there. Uh, please make this happen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know that would be awesome. I would love to get involved. Um, obviously, viewing. Um, I mean, if it, if the stars align and I could get involved, I'd love that too. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody uh, out there hear us. <laughs> <laughs> put it out in the atmosphere. Um, yeah. Brina. So my last one would uh, go to you. I know I have so many questions, a lot more written down, and I know that you guys are on a time crunch. So once again, I appreciate your time so far. Um, so I'm sure you've been uh, nothing but honest so far. And I don't want the fact that you worked with um, Ian Sinclair to affect this answer. Tony Tony Chopper, who is his favorite member of the Straw Hats and why is it not Brooke? <laughs> Who's Tony's favorite? Yes. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like he loves all of them so much. Um, lately, he's been hanging out with Nami a lot, which I really like. Um, but before that, it was Robin. And I think, I mean, I think forever Luffy's going to kind of be his hero. Because um, he kind of did save him. And like he gave him, like he he ha made his dreams come true to become a pirate. Um, so, yeah. But at the same, I don't know. I think he sees every one of them like as family. So I don't know that, I don't think he would be able to say who his favorite is <laughs> but my I, I, I favorite Brina Palencia's yeah. favorite is Brooke yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so is it because of Ian Sinclair no kid <laughs> oh good times I'm Brina Palencia you're listening to Anime Freshman Podcast keep it fresh hi I'm Megan Shipman and you're listening to Anime Freshman Podcast keep it fresh <laughs> hey I'm Risa May and you're listening to Anime Freshman Podcast keep it fresh hey Thank you guys. I really appreciate that. You're doing good. But, Keep it up, man. You're doing thank good. Thank you. Thank you. We try to keep them fresh.